Scheiße, um, Southampton was the uh, was the biggest port that the Southern Railway owned. Framington was the smallest, but they were both owned by the railway uh, company, and um, the, uh, they they mined a lot of clay down the other side of from uh, down the other side of Torrington. It came all the way through, didn't touch road at all. It was unloaded straight onto wagons at um, uh, uh, Peter's Marland or Mail um, Yard, brought up. Right through here on the train, you wouldn't even know there was a load of clay coming through here uh, to Fremington, and they got their sidings there. They'd uh, the train, the wagons would be shunted into the siding alongside the jetty. There'd be a, a, a steamer there who'd, who'd load it on and um, uh, take it to uh, well, you quite often uh, exporting it, which is good, uh, to one of the uh, 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 one of the continental countries. And um, they, they, um, when their wagons were emptied, they'd uh, uh, be brought back uh, as a separate goods train from Fremington all the way through to Torrington and um, Peters Marland and Meath. That was the place I'm trying to think of. Um, so, so really, you've got this this part of the line was a, uh, a self-contained railway in itself, providing freight uh, facilities between these places near Torrington and um, and Fremington. Of course. Authority had to had to get a, had to close it all. They couldn't uh, they, they they couldn't keep all that going. Uh, well, they said they couldn't, but um, uh, uh, that, that was a very useful uh, relation, as you just asked me, between the sea and the um, and the and the railway.